ओके फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग दिस इज हिमांग सर टूडे अनफॉर्चुनेटली इन द मॉर्निंग इंटरनेट कनेक्शन वॉज हाईली अनस्टेबल एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी कुड कनेक्ट सो राइट नाउ आई वॉज एबल टू एस्टाब्लिश सिक्योर कनेक्शन फॉर द इंटरनेट एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू लर्न अ टॉपिक कॉल सेकेंडरी मार्केट और स्टॉक एक्सचेंज I was supposed to give you worksheet, but I have decided that let's finish some important topics first, and then together I will give you the worksheet so that it will make more sense to you. So after completing primary market and understanding the various methods of rotation, now we are understanding the functions of stock exchange, or you can say the secondary market itself. First of all, we are going to understand the meaning of understand uh, meaning of secondary market. well stock exchange is a platform for buying and selling of existing securities existing securities are those securities which are previously purchased you must be knowing that previously we have learned primary market now primary market that market where first of all you issue the security so it was previously purchased over there now secondary market is that specific market those securities are actually bought and sold as a market it is facilitating exchange of security that is shares and debentures into vice versa and it helps existing investor to disinvest and new investors to enter the market so if you have money directly you can buy the shares and if you have shares you can sell out and get the money out of it that's why i said as a market it facilitates exchange of security into money and vice versa now it helps existing investors to disinvest and re new and new investors to invest in the market so say for an example somebody has purchased the shares in primary market and now he wants to get rid of his share by selling it off so existing investors can disinvest and yes there are people who might be interested in buying the same share at the same prices so they can re enter in the market so as a market it is always there remember one specific thing which is not mentioned over here in slide there is stock market companies are not there buying and selling is only taking place between shareholders there are shareholders selling and there are shareholders who are buying moving further we have functions of stock market the first function says providing liquidity and marketability of existing security so my dear friends stock market is basically a platform and on this platform there is a continuous buying and selling of existing shares existing shares are continuously bought and sold now because of this continuous buying and selling it gives chance you it gives you a chance of reinvestment and disinvestment yani paisa hai to invest karo aur shares hai to usko disinvest karo and that will provide us liquidity and marketability of its security let me explain you very clearly stock market is platform ye platform pe kya hota hai continuous buying selling hoti hai buying selling kiski hoti hai existing share ki isi ki wajah se sare shareholder reinvest and disinvest bhi kar sakte hai reinvest matlab aap paisa invest kar sakte ho disinvest matlab paisa aap wahan se nikal sakte ho and that will give you both liquidity as well as marketability of the securities second pricing of security now you all know forces of demand and supply helps in deciding any price of the product in this world isi product price yani forces of demand and supply jab jana padta hai now we are going to understand what is the role of stock market in this stock market act as a mechanism for constant valuation of share mechanism ka matlab ek machine ek software ek tool ek device ek motor jo continuously stock market mein jitne bhi shares ke transactions ho rahe hain usko evaluate kar raha hai usko record kar raha hai usko register kar raha hai so stock market act as a mechanism for constant valuation of shares which helps in deciding prices of share now that instant information of price is helpful for both buyers and sellers now what you can do if you want to learn this point you can just pause the screen learn and then go ahead since it's a recording so i'm moving ahead our third function is called safety of transaction see membership of stock exchange is very well regulated and it is working as per existing legal framework when you say that you have account in bank that means you have membership with the bank when you say you have account in jim khana or any of the you know uh, club then you have membership with them same way if you same way if you want to have membership in the stock market then you need to have a dmat account we are going to discuss about it in detail but the membership your registration is well regulated and it works as per existing legal framework stock market always ensures that investing public मतलब शेयर होल्डर्स गेट सेफ एंड फेयर डील इन द मार्केट अगर स्टॉक मार्केट में शेयर होल्डर्स आ रहे हैं बाइंग सेलिंग कर रहे हैं माल प्रैक्टिस की वजह से उनको बहुत सारा चीटिंग हो रहा है देन आई थिंक दीज इन्वेस्टर्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू यू नो ट्रस्ट द स्टॉक मार्केट तो इस स्टॉक मार्केट की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है सारे शेयर होल्डर्स को सेफ एंड फेयर डील देना इसीलिए इस फंक्शन का नाम है सेफ्टी ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन जस्ट टू रिमाइंड यू इन बिटवीन वॉट वी आर लर्निंग वी आर लर्निंग फंक्शन ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट वी आर जस्ट कम्प्लीट थ्री 
गाइस आर फोर्थ एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ यानी स्टॉक मार्केट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स टू इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ कैसे ये समझना बहुत जरूरी है प्लीज पे अटेंशन नाउ इन स्टॉक मार्केट एज वी नो एग्जिस्टिंग सिक्योरिटीज आर बॉट एंड सोल्ड दैट इज रीसोल्ड और ट्रेडेड नाउ दिस विल प्रोवाइड यू अ प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ री इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड डिसइनवेस्टमेंट यू कैन डेफिनेटली से कि सर ये पहले पॉइंट से मैच हो रहा है yes exactly you are not wrong in your guessing you are not wrong in your learning that stock market gives you platform where existing securities are bought and sold and that gives you the platform of reinvestment and disinvestment now see what is written in the third line which is very much important because of say because of this reinvestment and disinvestment your savings are channelized into most productive investment avenue don't forget that you are a shareholder you have your hard earned money and you don't like to put your money into those kind of shares which are not doing good so because of this reinvestment and disinvestment you are able to understand which shares are doing good which shares are not doing good and you would like to put your money into those shares only which are giving you handsome return so reinvestment and disinvestments are actually giving you sorry everyone reinvestment and disinvestments are actually giving you that specific platform where you can actually put your in uh, savings into most productive avenues now when every shareholder is going to do that that is going to bring capital formation and it is also going to generate economic growth i repeat that it is going to bring capital formation and economic growth as i said that if you want to learn both this point you can pause the slide over here and continue in my recording and moving at the point number 5 well point number 5 says it provides spreading of equity cult yahan pe equity cult ka matlab hai education स्टॉक मार्केट आपको सेफ्टी भी देता है आपको कैपिटल कंट्रीब्यूट करके देता है आपको प्राइस भी जान के देता है एग्जिस्टिंग मार्केट की लिक्विडिटी भी बताता है बट ऑन अ पार्ट ऑफ फॉर ऑल दिस फोर फंक्शन स्टॉक मार्केट का ये भी एक फंक्शन है जहां पे वो इक्विटी रिलेटेड एजुकेशन प्रोवाइड करता है सो स्टॉक मार्केट प्ले अ वेरी वाइटल रोल ऑफ एजुकेटिंग द पीपल इट कंटिन्यूसली प्रोवाइड यू नॉलेज ऑन न्यू इश्यूज एंड बेटर ट्रेडिंग प्रैक्टिस अपनी जो एक्सिस्टिंग ट्रेडिंग ट्रेडिंग प्रैक्टिस है उसको स्टॉक मार्केट हमेशा इंप्रूव करता रहता है और जो भी न्यू इश्यूज आ रहे हैं न्यू शेयर्स आ रहे हैं उसका कंटिन्यूस नॉलेज आपको प्रोवाइड करता रहता है इससे क्या होता है कि इट विल एनहांस द इन्वेस्टर्स ट्रस्ट टूवर्ड्स इक्विटी इन्वेस्टमेंट इक्विटी पे इन्वेस्टमेंट करने के लिए लोगों को ट्रस्ट की बहुत रिक्वायरमेंट होती है और स्टॉक मार्केट इसका प्रॉपर एजुकेशन प्रोवाइड करता है वाई वी कॉल इट्स स्प्रेडिंग इक्विटी कल्ट माई डे फ्रेंड लास्ट फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड स्टॉक मार्केट डू प्रोवाइड स्पेसिफिक स्कोप ऑफ स्पेक्यूलेशन स्पेक्यूलेशन मतलब योर एबिलिटी टू फोरकास्ट वेद प्राइजेस विल इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज और स्टॉक मार्केट हमें यह प्लेटफॉर्म जरूर देता है जहां पे आप आके फोरकास्ट कर सको लेट्स सी स्टॉक मार्केट प्रोवाइड सफिशियंट स्कोप ऑफ स्पेक्यूलेशन इन रेस्ट्रिक्टेड मैनर बट विद इन द प्रोविजन ऑफ लॉ इस सेंटेंस का मतलब ऐसा है कि आप स्टॉक मार्केट में आके शेयर्स की प्राइजेस के बारे में स्पेक्यूलेट कर सकते हो कि आपको क्या लग रहा है आने वाले टाइम में ये शेयर्स अच्छा करेंगे कि बुरा करेंगे बट रिमेम्बर इट हैज टू बी डन इन अ रेस्ट्रिक्टेड मैनर and it has to be done within the provision of law aap aake kuch bhi aisa speculate nahi kar sakte hain jo shayad absolutely wrong ho aur aap market mein hopes news create karne ke liye aisa koi step le rahe ho main aapko isko practical way mein samjhane ki koshish karta hu agar for an example abhi covid 19 chal raha hai automotive mobiles mein koi automotive sector mein koi car purchase nahi kar raha hai aur agar ford ka ceo uh, cnbc awaaz pe aake aisa statement deta hai in upcoming 3 months we are not expecting that companies is going to do great so isse main assumption laga sakta hu ki ford ke share buy karne mein abhi koi samajhdari nahi hai because 3 4 mahine tak covid 19 rehne ki wajah se recovery aane ki wajah se nayi car purchase hone ke chances kam hai to ford ke share utna acha nahi karenge ha kisi pharmaceutical company mein invest karna bahut zyada acha hai kyunki mask sanitizers medicines in sab ka market abhi khul chuka hai so aap stock market mein speculate kar sakte ho in a restricted manner within the provision of law and yes don't forget certain degree of healthy speculation is necessary warna price continuity and liquidity ka pata hi nahi chalega agar aap stock market mein aake speculate hi nahi karoge to aapko idea kaise aayega ki kaun sa price kaun sa share ka price acha kar raha hai ya bura kar raha hai so it is generally expected that certain degree of healthy speculation is highly necessary for price continuity and liquidity my dear friends ye the stock market ke che functions main quickly aapko recollect kara deta hu ki humne kya kya sikha tha ignore this screen हमने सबसे पहले सीखा है प्रोवाइडिंग लिक्विडिटी एंड मार्केटेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सिस्टिंग शेयर्स सेकंड प्राइसिंग ऑफ शेयर थर्ड सेफ्टी ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ स्प्रेडिंग इक्विटी कल्ट एंड प्रोवाइडिंग स्कोप ऑफ स्पेक्यूलेशन आप आराम से इन छह फंक्शंस को पढ़िए पॉज करके पढ़िए टाइम लेके पढ़िए एंड इफ यू हैनी डाउट प्लीज आस्क मी बैक आई विल गेट बैक टू यू इफ यू हैनी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिस्निंग थैंक यू एवरी